So how, how often do you meditate? Every day. Every day. So Every this is a religious day. thing that you do. Is this a part of your morning routine? Is it your evening no, routine? What is it? I do it. I usually do it after lunch or before I go home from the office. Right. So it's an amazing time for me to just, because you know what it's like, mate, when you self employed, the difficult thing is separating the two quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. Business especially and, and... Especially right now, it's just hard to kind of, because we're not, we're, not, we're not clocking out anymore, right? Yeah. <laughs> the longer you've done it for, but like, it, I mean, you, you've been, how long have you been self-employed for? A long time, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we, we, we're so used to in, integrating the whole thing. And part of me is like, I don't mind doing that. Like, I don't feel like I've got a job and a, it, it doesn't feel that separate. But sometimes I like, when I'm at home, I want to be at home mentally right. as well as physically. So meditation is just a great cap to the end of the day for me. And sometimes if I get a little Brucey bonus, sometimes I might not off and I'm okay with that. But if I'm not off, I'm cool. If not, I'm also cool. So yeah, it's an afternoon. So you're doing this at the office? Yeah, at the office. I've even got a special chair that I lie on. Yeah, it's, a, it's one of those kickback cinema chairs. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Right. So I so, do that at the office. Yeah. 15 so, minutes. So let's talk about your day. So, yeah. so you start your day when? My day usually starts at around about 6.30. Around about six thirty, right? Yeah. So, so yeah. again, we're not going to frame this whole thing of you know, you yeah, yeah. five, blah blah blah. So no, six thirty is no, I mean, I'm not. This is not in for me. So, <laughs> so not... six thirty is that because that fits with the family now? It fits with the family. Um, it fit, I don't set an alarm. It feels like the natural time. Sometimes I'll have to set an alarm, but very usually when yeah. I go on holiday, I have to set an alarm. <laughs> but it's like when you know when to catch your flight, you have to set yeah, an alarm, yeah, yeah. right? But, so normally I'm, that feels like my natural wake up time. Maybe it might be a little bit later in the winter. In the summer, it might be earlier. Yep. And again, I don't feel, I know someone will be listening saying, you're lucky to be able to do that. I listen, there's no luck. You create your own fucking life, right? So, and again, so I'm up then. My first thing I do is always journal. That's the first thing I do. I right. get my mind. I use the questions that are the steering wheel of the mind to steer me towards feeling great. Right, so what are you doing this? Are you lying in bed, doing your journal, or are you, are you often, walking? You have a coffee often I lie in bed. Doing? Often I lie in bed. Sometimes I'm downstairs having my coffee. Right. Real simple. Sometimes, mate, again, I, I'm going to sound like a right privileged arsehole here, but sometimes I do it in me and for red sauna. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> and then... and then Sweat on the pages. Yeah, exactly, yes. Yeah, mate, that's a problem, Yeah. The infrared's a bit better, though, because it's not hot on the outside, is it? It's not really hot on so, the outside. So, so, so in amongst this, you're telling me about a lot of stuff that, that would fall under, and I, I hit, again, I hate using the term because I think there's some really wacky shit out there. Yeah. Is yeah. is almost like this biohacking scenario, right? Pretty so, much, so yeah. Got something, so you mentioned infrared sauna there, journaling. Yeah. yeah. You know, do you know what I do, mean? Like I do shit on. that makes me feel great. Cool. I do stuff that makes me feel so good. what's the rationale behind the infrared sauna? So the rationale behind the infrared sauna was that when I was younger, I used to love having saunas at the local leisure center. Um, and I saw Ronda oh, Patrick's, I saw Dr. Ronda Patrick's stuff on Joe Rogan, where she was talking about this infrared yep. sauna. And the benefits seemed pretty cool. And I'm like, you know what? It's a cool thing to do. One of my biggest challenges as a man is recovery and rest and yep. tiredness and sleep. And that seems to impact all of them. And I was like, mate, I used to buy, you may have seen it. You ever seen a portable sauna? Yes. Like it looks like a portable masturbation tent. I used to keep buying them, portable, and then my wife was like, "Why don't a portable what masturbation?" Tent? <laughs> it's amazing, and I used to buy them all the time, and I just felt great after I had one. Great for recovery, great for just I, I just feel great after I have them. So yeah, my yeah. wife was like, "Why don't you just get one for the house?" So I, I, sometimes I'll do that, and then I use this app called State. It's like a breathing app. It's like the Wim Hof kind of stuff. I trained yeah. with Wim Hof a couple of years ago, and. Um, and that, again, made me feel great. People are like, why do you do all this stuff? I'm like, because it made me feel good, period. Like, yeah. I want to spend the first part of my day not doing shit that I hate, but doing shit that just boosts, lifts my state a little bit. So for right, me- so you're doing the Wim Hof breathing. Doing the Wim Hof breathing. Are you doing the ice stuff? I'm doing the cold shower. Cold shower. Yeah. Two minutes straight in. This routine, mate, I'm telling you right now, takes me 30, 40 minutes maximum. I'm not spending three hours on a morning routine. And then I walk to the office. And it's the about, office is how far? The office is about, well, it takes 30 minutes. 30 minute okay. walk. Yeah. It, and that'll be fresh in South Shields at times, right? Mate, right now, right now, I'm trying to do live videos. My hands are fucking sticking to my phone. It's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, yesterday, don't know, South Shields is very north. It is. It, mate, and honestly, when, when, I, when I try to end the live video, the button wouldn't work because the screen was wet. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, but I do that every single day. And, and though, that's it. That's not, that's as complicated as it gets. I, I'm like, I've done the complicated. It's pretty, it, but it's, it's, it's a pretty solid routine, right? So it when in, in amongst this, are you hydrating? When are you eating? When I'm, you, I'm usually eating right before I leave for the walk. 
and I'm just nice. doing I'm just doing porridge with vegan protein powder in it and maybe a bit of peanut Are you butter. Vegan? That's it. I'm not vegan, but whey protein makes me fart really bad. Okay. For me, I'm not vegan. <laughs> to the point. Do you know why I'm not vegan? Because meat's delicious. <laughs> <laughs>